Hi, Shadia here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make some spaghetti squash with steamed vegetable dumplings and steamed broccoli. Needed something quick and easy for dinner. Here we go. So I cut my spaghetti squash in half Got the inside, rub the inside down with grapeseed oil. I placed them face down on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. And I baked them in the oven at 400 degrees. I meant to only leave them in there for 30 minutes, but I was watching TV and forgot. So they actually stayed in there for about 40, 45 minutes. They're a little ten more tender than I wanted them to be, but it still came out good. We can make this work. Now we're not going to do a whole lot of seasoning. We're just going to take a pinch of pink Himalayan salt and sprinkle on the spaghetti noodles on the inside. I want to say about a quarter of a teaspoon. That should be plenty on each half. And then we're just going to mix that up on the inside. You can add more uh, seasonings if you choose, but I figured with the dumplings and the broccoli, we didn't need to go overboard. Just wanted something nice and simple. Okay, so my pot of water has started to boil. My steamer rack is inside. I should have taken my brush or a paper towel to rub the bottom of the steaming rack with oil. I did that so that my dumplings and my veggies don't stick. Okay, so I have a bag of frozen Tuscan seasoned broccoli that I'm going to only put a few pieces in the steamer because it's just me that's eating. So I'm going to take those out. I figure I'll take about five or six pieces out and put them to one side of the steamer. And here I have my thigh vegetable gyoza. I think I pronounced that right. I'm not sure <laughs> of um, vegetable dumplings. I love dumplings. So I'm going to only put three in the pot. Looking good. Looking good. I can't wait to eat. Okay, let's check this out. Yep, fork tender, it's ready. So I scoop the spaghetti squash over to one side of the shell. I'm placing the broccoli on the other end. and taking the dumplings and I'm gonna sit them on top of the broccoli. And what would it be without some nutritional yeast on top for that cheesy flavor, yes. And I had some sweet and sour sauce left over so I said, wow, you know what? That should go nice with the dumplings. So I just spread that on top And dinner, for me, is ready. So if you like what you saw, you know what to do. I'm about to go eat. Peace and love. I'll see you in the next video.